shelter of Sutta O Sutta Goswami Munaya Great Sages Prashama Prashan Ayana Absorb in devotion to the Supreme Sadhya at once Punanti Sanctify. Upashrishta. Simply by association. Swarduni. Of the sacred Ganges. Apa. Water. Anusevaya. Bringing into use. Translation. O Sutta. Those great sages who have completely taken shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord can at once sanctify those who come in touch with them, whereas the water of the Ganges can sanctify only after prolonged use. Everyone please repeat, O Sutta, o Sutta. those great sages, those great sages who have completely taken shelter 
of the lotus feet of the Lord. Can at once sanctify those who come in touch with them. Whereas the water of the Ganges can sanctify only after prolonged use. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. Pure, devotee, pure devotees of the Lord are more powerful than the water of the sacred river Ganges. One can derive spiritual benefit out of prolonged use of the Ganges water, but one can be sanctified at once by the mercy of a pure devotee of the Lord. In Bhagavad Gita, it is said that any person, regardless of birth, as sudra, woman, or merchant, can take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord, and by so doing, can return to Godhead. To take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord means to take shelter of the pure devotees. The pure devotees whose only business is serving are honored by the names Prabhupada and Vishnupad, which indicate such devotees to be representatives of the lotus feet of the Lord. Anyone, therefore, who takes shelter of the lotus feet of a pure devotee by accepting the pure devotee as his spiritual master can be at once purified. Such de devotees of the Lord are honored equally with the Lord because they are engaged in the most confidential service of the Lord. For they, for they deliver out of the material world, the fallen souls whom the Lord wants to return home back to Godhead. Such pure devotees are better known as vice lords. According to revealed scripture, the sincere disciple of the pure devotee considers the spiritual master equal to the Lord and always considers himself to be a humble servant of the servants of the Lord. This is a pure devotional path. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Sapitam ye na putale, Swayam rupakadamayam dadati swapadantikam, Pandeham shri guru shri yatapadakamalam, shri guru vaishnavam shya, shri rupam satrajatam sahagana raganatan vitam tam sajevam. Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitam Scha He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorange Radhe Vrinda Veneshwari Vrishabhanustate Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. From Shunakarishi, glorifying Sutta Goswami. Sutta Goswami is going to speak to them, Srimad Bhagavatam. Shonakarishi is valuing the association of such a great devotee. He is describing that by the association of the pure devotee, you get immediate benefit. But the water of the Ganges takes some time. You have to bathe in the Ganges regularly, again and again, before the Ganga begins to purify us. So, this is the power of association with the devotee of the Lord. A similar statement is made by in Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto in the chapter, Dhritarashtra quits home. We have the nice uh, incident where Vidura is coming back to deliver Dhritarashtra. And Maharaj Yudhisthira comes comes to glorify Vidura, well, that Vidura had gone to visit the holy places. Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Kanaya Ki Jai Sri Sri Nichai Goranga Rai Ki Jai Sri Jagannath Baladev Sivanda So Vidura was coming back from the holy places, but Maharaj Yudhisthira describes Vidura that you are the personification of the holy places. The pure devotee doesn't have to go to a holy place. He can make a place holy simply by his presence. Because the pure devotee carries the Lord in his heart. Bhavadvida Bhagavata Tirta Bhutta Swayam Vivo Tirti Kurvanti Tirtani Svantasena Gadabhuta. This is Maharaj Yudhisthira glorifying Vidura. That you are the personification of the holy places. We go to a holy place to get purified. But the actual purification of the holy place comes about by associating with the devotees who live there and hearing from them is the purpose of going to the holy place. We don't just go to the holy place to bathe in the waters there. Just like Anandadula, Anandadula Prabhu takes many devotees to visit holy places. I met them this year. I was in where I, somewhere. Anyway, I came across it. They've been to Rameshwaram. And in Rameshwaram there's many wells there and the people go and take bath from I think 40 or 50 wells and the, the water comes from all different holy places so people want to take bath in all these different holy waters the result was most of them ended up with flu <laughs> you know, they were supposed to get <laughs> of course they got some benefit purified but <laughs> They, they ended up with cold. <laughs> so bathing in the water purifies after a long time. But if you associate with hearing from the pure devotees, then it can purify immediately. And we all know that verse which says, uh, uh, Sadhu Sangi Sadhu Sangi Sarva Shastrakai Lava Matra Sadhu Sangi Sarva Siddhi Hoy. That the association can just be Lava Matra one eleventh of a second, a very brief uh, moment of time. But that moment can give us all perfection if we associate with the pure devotees. Of course, we have to know how to associate. But then again, even if we don't know how to associate, if there's a very powerful devotee, they can also purify us. Just the other evening, Banu Swami was speaking from the verse in Bhagavad Gita, 
And he was describing about how by associating with the devotee, like Narada Muni, he can make even the most sinful person into a devotee. He can give them faith in the process of bhakti yoga. This is the effect of association. When, you're, when you get the association with somebody like Narada Muni, he can change the heart of even the most sinful person. Of course, their devotees, we saw Shula, I saw Srila Prabhupada preach to people, and it's not that everyone immediately accepted everything Prabhupada said, although certainly Srila Prabhupada was also a very powerful devotee, but it's not that everyone immediately changed their heart or accepted everything he was telling them. And there were several cases, people arguing with Prabhupada. Prabhupada would walk in Bombay, in Mumbai, he would walk on the beach there at Juhu, and there was this one Dr. Patel used to regularly come and constantly argue with Prabhupada. Prabhupada would sometimes get frustrated arguing with him. But at the same time, Prabhupada also tolerated. He understood not everyone is immediately able to take up Krishna consciousness. But if they are associating with the devotee, then it, they will definitely give some fruit. It's just a matter of time before the fruit becomes ripened. Just like we, we give the example, there is the green mango and there is the ripe mango. So the mango is green, if we leave it for some time, it will ripen. In the same way, somebody is associating with the pure devotee, they may not be taking up Krishna consciousness. But if they're associating, then gradually, in the future, then association will ripen, will bear some fruit, and the people will become more favorable, more inclined to the practice of Krishna consciousness. Association is such a powerful thing. We have all come here to this convention for that purpose, to associate with devotees because we know that in the association of the devotees there will be kirtan just like this morning wonderful kirtan Nitai Priya Prabhu is here with us leading wonderful kirtan inspiring people to chant and dance and then we have His Holiness Jaipataka Swami Maharaj here simply by His Divine Presence everyone will feel inspired in their devotional service. Jagat Shakti Prabhu, by his association, his wonderful Tamil speaking, reaches to the heart of all the Tamil people. This is association. Association is for increasing our bhakti. We all have some bhakti, but when we have more association, our bhakti increases. We get more and more taste for bhakti. And the result of association is that we become more enthusiastic for our service to Krishna. We have more taste for chanting. We want to hear. This eagerness to hear, this is also an important quality for the devotee. We get that eagerness to hear when we're in the association of wonderful devotees, senior devotees. So coming here to this convention, it's an opportunity for all of us to become more enriched in our bhakti. Just like the example is given, when you eat food, as we eat food, then we feel relief from hunger, we feel nourishment, we feel satisfaction. It all comes about as we go on tasting food. In the same way, in rendering our devotional service, as we go on hearing 
and chanting, and dancing, taking part in the programs, we also feel more and more attraction for Krishna. We develop some perception of Krishna almost, like we can actually feel the presence of Krishna. We have that kind of experience when we're in the association of the senior Vaishnavas, that we can feel the energy, we can feel the, the atmosphere becoming surcharged with spiritual potency. That is due to the association of so many devotees. On our own, alone, we don't have that kind of realization. It's not so easy to practice Krishna consciousness on our own. People sometimes ask me, do I have to attend the program? Do I have to go to the temple? Or do I have to come to the meetings with the devotees? I just want to practice on my own. I tell them, well, that, that is very dangerous. You are not going to make very good progress practicing alone. We need to be with the devotees. We need association. It is vital for our Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada told us 98% of our advancement in Krishna consciousness depends on association. We have to get that association. Therefore, that's why if you come here to this center for this weekend to be with so many other devotees and to be enlivened in the association. Yes, we want to feel enlivened in their presence. We can be negative and find fault. That is not how to associate. Association means looking and seeing the good qualities in the devotees. Not seeing how many devotees didn't come to the Mongol Arti, but seeing how many did come and seeing how many were chanting and dancing. That is important. Association means looking on the good qualities of the devotees, appreciating the devotees. Prabhupada liked to know that the devotees were all working together to spread Krishna consciousness. Association is so important. I was just reading yesterday, I was reading it's a, about Krishna, how Krishna consciousness was spread in Australia and Srila Prabhupada's uh, involvement in developing Krishna consciousness there in Australia. So it was describing about one devotee, my god brother, wonderful devotee named Bodhi Manta Prabhu. He left the body some years ago. He passed away in Vrindavan with brain cancer. But he was a, a very wonderful personality. Very tall and well-built American body. Spoke with a Texas accent. And he would love to distribute Prabhupada's books. Even before he joined the Krishna consciousness movement, He'd been distributing literature on the street. So when he joined Krishna Consciousness, the first thing he did was go out on book distribution. And he was, you know, very successful. He was a very humble, reserved person in the temple. But when he would go out on the street, he would transform. He would become so energetic and so lively. And he'd be running around and well, he would get down on one knee and offer the book to people. You know, it was really very, very, uh, just seeing him, you know, you could not help but feel some affection and love for him. So he was distributing books. He was sent from America to Australia to train up the devotees in Australia to distribute books. And it describes there that how one young lady came just as a new devotee, she came and she got inspired to put on a sari 
like the other lady. She put on a sari and she went out on book distribution. And the first day she went out, she distributed more books than Bodhimanta. <laughs> The devotees were amazed because he was like the best book distributor. But this new lady came and she went out and just a new devotee, she distributed more books than him on the very first day. Well, how did she do it? By association. You see somebody do these things, you want to do it. Just like the devotee saw Prabhupada dance in the kirtan. As soon as Prabhupada you know, Prabhupada started jumping, and as soon as Prabhupada jumped, everybody in the hall, everybody jumped. All the devotees. As soon as Prabhupada began to jump, all the devotees rose up also. Automatic association. Very contagious, right? And so Prabhupada was showing people how to dance, and by Prabhupada's association, everybody danced. Nobody would stand in the mood. Association is so wonderful when we have that opportunity to associate with these great devotees. It's a very rare thing, very special thing. Now, of course, different people are inspired by different, different ways. Just like somebody may be very much involved with deity worship. So you get a lot of inspiration when you see people like Janani Vas Prabhu serving the deities in Mayapur. We see how he's dedicated more than 40 years to the service of the deities there. And he's completely absorbed in the service of the deities. So, you, you know, if you're into deity worship, then you would get your inspiration from somebody like Janani Vas Prabhu. Somebody else may be more of a pundit reciting slokas and then you would get inspiration from one of the devotees like there's a devotee called Dravida Prabhu. Dravida, he, he said that maybe in his previous life he was a fallen Brahmana. He's an American body devotee but he recites slokas, you know, you know, like a machine gun. He's got so many slokas, you know, one after another. So somebody who is a bit of a pundit, you would get great inspiration from associating with somebody like Dravida. He's also a poet. He writes so many nice poems, glorifying Prabhupada, Krishna. I like that. Somebody else is into kirtan. We have wonderful kirtaneers here here also with us today and of course so many other kirtaniers are there in the movement and many devotees get inspiration from their association it's so important for us to associate and association as we said it doesn't have to be a, a long time but we have to learn how to take advantage of association that is why we are here this weekend, to just simply absorb ourselves in the hearing and chanting and worshipping the deity, worshipping the Lord. We, we don't come here for any other thing. We're not coming here looking for some business opportunities or to make some money for ourselves. We're not looking for a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You know, we're coming here for our Krishna consciousness, to enrich ourselves spiritually. And we do that by association with devotees. What are the activities of devotees when they associate together? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes what it is to associate. Machita matita prana bodayantas paraspara katayantas kyamam nityam tushyanti charamanti cha. The thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me, their lives are surrendered unto me, and they derive great satisfaction and bliss, enlightening one another and, and conversing about me. So this is why we're here in this temple of devotion and understanding. We're here to surrender more fully 
it's an opportunity to surrender for a few days. Maybe the, most of the time you don't get much opportunity to surrender. You're too busy with your nitty-gritty, the material world, the jobs and the family and so many other things. But coming here for this con convention this weekend, you don't have to worry. The prasadam is all taken care of, right? There's a, a schedule. You may have to go once or at the most twice. I think it's all divided among the different yatras. So you don't have to worry about going to the kitchen. You don't have to worry about going shopping. You just have to take part in the different programs. Learn how come and here, come and associate, join in the kirtan. So much opportunities are there also for service. I'm sure if you like to help to serve prasada, devotees will be happy. This is all about surrender. We're coming here, surrender. To surrender means accepting what is favorable for our devotional service and giving up everything which is not favorable. That is surrender. We want to do these things. It's made very easy for us here in this wonderful center which we have. So nice opportunity for all of us to be together and to associate with each other. Devotees have come from all over Malaysia and from even outside Malaysia. Many devotees have come. There's devotees coming from Thailand today, I know. There's devotees here from Australia. There's devotees from China, China of course, China, many, yeah. like that. So, so many people, different places, devotees have come here to associate in Krishna consciousness, enlightening one another and conversing about Krishna. This is our real business here. We want to hear about the Lord and we, we have the opportunity to hear about Him from so many senior devotees who have come here to give us the benefit of their association. In previous times, you would have to go to the forest and find the ashram of these great sages. But we are so fortunate that they have come here to, to, uh, to all of us here in Malaysia to give us the benefit of their association. So this is very rare opportunity to get this kind of association. So special. And if we don't take advantage of it, then we are the biggest fool. It is our own fault. If we waste our time talking, japra japa, nonsense talk, Monday, doing mundane things, playing with your handphone, computer games. All of these things should be forgotten, left aside. Just simply absorb ourselves in bhakti yoga. This Krishna consciousness is very special. It is only after many, many lifetimes that we get this opportunity to associate with devotees. And if we don't use our time properly, then we're very, we're making a great mistake. So we want to remind all of you is the value of association. Don't miss out, right? Make full use of this opportunity to be with the devotees and to hear and chant. When we do our hearing and chanting properly, then we get the result. The result is that we, give, we, we forget all about the material problems, the material attachments, all the material desires which are holding us back. Krishna consciousness is the solution to all the problems of the world. There's no other remedy no other way to solve the problems. Simply by Krishna consciousness, we can overcome everything. We just simply have to increase 
our hearing and chanting, and then remembrance comes about naturally. So this, this weekend, we have a wonderful opportunity to progress. We hope all of you are eager. Last night, so many devotees were up late. Shiva Chaitanya Prabhu was telling us this morning how they were up very late last night. And feel, so I hope all of you were not up so late last night because we want you to be awake today. Right? If you were up late last night, then you may be feeling tired today. But try to be awake, be alert, right? And this is important. Then you can get the full benefit. If you're sleepy, then you're not going to get so much benefit. So try to get proper rest so that you can take part in all the programs which are going on. Okay, so any questions? Asking questions is also the duty of the audience, right? When you come to these programs, it's important that the speaker becomes enlivened when you have questions. says it will take time to purify from the Ganges. But seeing the devotee, just being with the devotee for a moment can immediately purify. The Ganges takes more time. You, know, you get some purification, but you have to really regularly bathe in the Ganga to get the full benefit of Ganges. Just simply touching the water of the Ganges is some purification, but not like seeing the devotee. Association with the devotee. Of course, the devotee, the pure devotee, is not just going to, not just going to, it's not enough to just see him. You have to hear. You have to asso really associate with that devotee. You have to hear the words coming from his mouth. You have to go to the heart not just in the ear and out the other ear. It has to enter the heart. The pure devotee also, he will pull your ear. He will get you to give your attention to this matter, to this business. Without association, who's nobody there to tell you you are a fool, you are a rascal, you lazy, good for nothing, that is the business of the pure devotee, to chastise us, to make us wake up, and get up and get busy in Krishna consciousness. The pure devotee will tell us what we're doing wrong, right? He will say, don't sit like that in the temple room. He will say, don't sleep when you're chanting your japa. See somebody sleeping, chanting japa, if you're on your own, nobody's there to wake you up, right? But the guru will come along, get up, stand up, chant, right? That is association. We need that association. We need somebody to push us because we're so lazy, right? Kali Yuga people, lazy. One of our qualifications in the Kali Yuga. We need to be pushed. We need somebody to shout at us and to pull our ear and to make us busy in the service of Krishna. So, don't get upset if somebody pulls your ear or starts shouting at you. But you should think, thank you for your mercy. Right? That's the real mercy when they push us. You get up, Prabhu. Go out and thank your time. Don't play in sleep. Yes, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Uh, has a great Vaishnava. A lot of bulls and spirits are always associated with him. Why are they not becoming great Vaishnavas also? They are. <laughs> By his association, they are becoming great. But 
even in the bodies of ghosts and spirits. They can be helping liberate other ghosts and spirits. Bring you. Yeah, maybe. Well, I said maybe we were the ghosts in our past life. We've come from ghost bodies to become devotees. So definitely, Lord Shiva's association never goes in vain. We know in Navadvip, there's a, in, in Navadvip Dam, in, 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 in the Godrumadvip, Lord Shiva comes and chants the holy name in the ear of somebody leaving the body. Right? What name does he chant? Yeah, what name? Yeah, Gauranga! Gauranga! Right, Lord Shiva comes as his mercy, chanting, and, you know, you may say, oh, let me die peacefully. <laughs> and Lord Shiva comes and chants the name, Gauranga! Wake up, you know, he's not coming to say, die peacefully. No, he's saying, listen, the holy name of the Lord. That is his mercy. And so, ghosts and spirits also, they become liberated by the association of Lord Shiva. He said, Lord Shiva, he, he places them in the womb of women who have sex at an uh, improper time and gets them, he gets them to the human body. If women have sex at an improper time, then the ghost or spirit is put into the womb of a woman by the mercy of Lord Shiva. That's his arrangement to benefit them. Yeah? mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam. So association with Lord Shiva is certainly very beneficial. You associate with him, even if you're in the body. Prabhupada says here, Striyo Vaishya Sudra. Anyone can be benefited by association. Doesn't matter what position you're in, what situation you are in. You may say, oh, I'm just a woman, or I'm low-born. But doesn't matter. Everyone, Sriyo Vaishya Sudra, Tepi Yanti Parangatim, they can attain the supreme destination by that association. So we give the opportunity to everyone. That is the nature of the Krishna consciousness movement. That everyone has got an opportunity to advance, to progress. We don't say any. We don't tell anybody. Oh, you're not qualified. No, you're low born. No, you're 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 too sinful. Everyone has an opportunity to take up Krishna consciousness and associate with pure devotees. Krishna consciousness movement is giving association. It is a movement of pure devotees. All of you are expected to be pure devotees and to give your association to others. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said everyone should become guru. Wherever you go, whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna. Yari deki tari kaho Krishna upadesh, amara gaya gurohana tarai desh. By my order, become guru. All of you, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's order, you all have to become pure devotee and then you give your association to others by telling them about Krishna. So we come here, we get the association of devotees, we become enlivened, and we go out from here and we distribute Krishna consciousness to others. Our, our convention should become bigger and bigger every year. More and more people should come every year. We want to see more and more people come. Otherwise, something is wrong. If we are coming every year for convention and every year the number of people is less, uh, uh, something wrong. There should be more people coming every year. You shouldn't think that, oh, I went last year, I'm not going to go this year. That, something wrong, something's not right. People, if someone thinks like that, we should be bringing more and more people. Everyone who comes should go back and bring more people with them when they come next time. And in this way we will have bigger and bigger conventions. And eventually that these halls, buildings here will not be big enough. That will be bigger places. But for now, we have very big halls. We need to fill up what we've got. So, this 
preaching. Association means preaching. We come together for preaching Krishna consciousness. We get enlivened and then we go out and we preach to others. And we give other people Krishna consciousness. And more people will want to come and take part in this convention. Previously, we had conventions, so many. We went to uh, Langkawi, we went to Cameron Highlands, we went to so many places. Now we're so fortunate we have our own place. Such a nice place, the best of all, our own place with Radha Krishna Kanaya, Nittai Goranga Rai, and Jagannath Bhavadi Subhadra also here this weekend. So we're so fortunate. We could not have a better facility. We must take advantage of all of these wonderful facilities. The deities, the temple, the devotees. And, and the holiday, you don't even have to worry about your work. You don't have to think, oh, I have to go to the job. No work this weekend, right? You're all free. So you can totally dedicate this weekend to hearing and chanting in the association of devotees. Okay? Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada ki. Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Peace out, guys.